hello friends welcome back this is Madan again in this video I'm going to use the publisher subscriber model of the Redis cache and build a, a real-time client uh, console based chat application and uh, uh, in the previous video I explained how to use uh, the publisher subscriber model of the Redis cache and what it is actually so let's jump into the code and develop the chat application so here I have opened the visual in visual studio and I'm going to create a console application so console app and dot net core and then I'm clicking on the next and then let's say chat app and then click on create so our Redis uh, server is uh, running up and running here we can make sure that this is our ready server and in order to uh, <coughs> we are going to follow the exact same steps that we have uh, <coughs> did in our previous video to build the chat application so in order to build uh, in order to use the ready cache publisher subscriber model first of all we need uh, to install a NuGet package uh, for the ready cache so I'm going to install that NuGet package here and then that is stack exchange dot redis so let's install that stack exchange dot redis package into our application and this is a really popular application it has 85.6 million downloads here so it has successfully installed that and then we are going to <coughs> need a couple of things here so first of all we are going to need a connection string to our server here since I am running the ready server in my local machine so that the connection string for that is the local host so private static or let's say private constant uh, is string underscore and is it in connection is string equal to LHST. so if you are running this uh, redis uh, server or if you are have installed that uh, redis uh, server into your cloud or anywhere in the internet then we need to give that address here another thing is that we need to establish a connection to our Redis server here and in order to establish the connection here private static we have a connection multiplexer connection M -U -L -T -I -P -L -E -X here, connection multiplexer and uh, that can, comes from stack exchange dot redis I'm going to create a variable of that connection multiplexer and then equal to so this connection multiplexer has a method called connect and in, a, in this connect method we can pass the connection string here so you can see connection string mm, uh, connection string is underscore connection string so this creates a connection to our redis server here and we're going to need other two variables here private string let's make them static since we are going to use those inside this static method here so private static string underscore <coughs> username and underscore channel name so those are the two uh, two variables here and then let's remove this since we don't need that now first of all we are going to ask user to enter their username here so console dot right line enter your name so this uh, brings the username here so username equal to console dot read line now we have stored the name of the user into the username username variable here and then i'm going to ask another input for the user that means to provide the channel name here so enter your let's say room name chat room name C -H -A -T, chat room name and then I'm going to store that into the channel name here channel name equal to console dot read line read line and once they in, in uh, now let's say <coughs> CW now let's run this application here that application come on so user can insert their name here Matt and then the channel it will ask for the it will <coughs> ask for the channel name here so uh, let's say channel name is the or the their chat room name is the C1 then once they insert those input I want to change the title of this console application with their name and the channel so 
for that we have a console dot title property and we can set a string here and then I am or let's say hello and then the username username you are in chat room chat room and then the name of the chat room here or the channel name here so these are the basic stuff now we are going to <coughs> use the publisher subscriber model of the redis cache for that we need to uh, create a subscriber uh, we need to get the subscriber from our uh, redis cache server here so i'm going to name this as a pop sub and then we have a connection multiplexer that holds the connection to the redis cache server and then we can do is get subscriber here so this is a variable that holds the subscriber that means we through we by the help of this pop sub we can subscribe to that channel here now let's subscribe to that channel here pop sub dot and it has a subscribe method it has a publish method same that we used in our previous demo uh, to work with publisher 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 and subscriber based model so we are going to create a subscriber here or the subscribe and then in this subscribe we need to pass the channel name our channel name is the um, underscore channel name so channel name here and then we have uh, this will uh, if we click on this then it will give a <coughs> second variable which is a type of action so what we can do is we can it in this action it has a parameter of channel and the value that means uh, whenever this subscriber receives the message uh, it will receive the two input here uh, two value channel name and the actual message here so C H N N E L channel and then the message here and uh, uh, let's call this function D I S P L A Y display message from here and then let's pass message to this function here and let's create this function generate the local function display message here and in this display message function we are going to display message that is coming from our uh, <coughs> publisher of the redis server and then we are going to publish a simple message here publish and then we are going to give the information that someone has joined the chat room here so let's say username username has joined room of channel name and then it expect the first parameter should be this is my mistake first parameter should be the channel in order to publish the message we need to specify to which channel we are going to publish that mess message first parameter is the channel and second parameter is the message yourself so i'm going to publish that to the channel name here now once we establish the connection to the redis cache uh, and then subscribe to the particular channel we are going to um, <coughs> continuously send and receive message here so we need an endless loop here so while true variable message equal to so i'm going to store the message that is typed by the client into this message variable here c o n s o l console dot read line and this will get the message from the user here once user uh, type the message into their console then i'm going to publish that message to the channel name so that every other uh, subscriber would get that message here so let's use the string interpolation here and then i'm going to specify the time here date time dot now dot hour and then date time dot now dot second and then i'm going to write the name of the user here username and then the actual message is the message here let's see username and then let's add says also s a y s says and the message now let's run our application here so first of all i'm going to build this application uh, build so that it will generate its output here 
and then let's go to the debug folder of this application here open folder in file explorer and then i'm going to run application from here so debug netcore 3 and then we have a chat app.exe so i'm going to close these redis client here since we don't need those redis clients we only need our redis server up and running so it is up and running here now i'm going to open this application but i'm going to open the mul mul multiple instance of this application so let's make it a bit small here so now let's say we are our two clients uh, uh, has started and then now i'm going to write a name here matt and then let's say the name of my room is matt room and then you can see that the mat had joined the room mat room and then also you can see that the title of this application had changed here and then let's uh, let's say this client application is used by john and john and then the now both user that they want to communicate should join the same room here so this user also should join the mat room if they want to communicate and mat room so we can see that the john has and this mat can, receives the message that john has joined the mat room here now john can send message to the mat hello mat how are you now i want you to see on this mat and john mat side here so let's hit enter enter and then you can see that the message has been received by the mat on the real time now this mat can run this client application into his own machine anywhere in the world and this zone can run this client application into his own machine anywhere in the world and we can host this redis cache server into our client in, into any cloud or into the internet then we can communicate using this application uh, between any number of users that join the same room that are in the same room from anywhere in the world here so let's send message to the zone here hi zone what's up today what's up and then zone receives the message here matt says and then zone receives the message here now matt can send reply hi matt all good and so so uh, you can take application of the, you can take advantage of the redis cache publisher subscriber model and build the chat application uh, in uh, just five minutes under five minutes and this is very uh, helpful we can take this chat application into the next um, level and we can use this application to communicate with our friends uh, in real time um, <coughs> with the um, in a practical way so this is it uh, in this demo friend thanks for watching and have a great day